Today I'm going to talk about SoundLock, which is one of the new features that we added in Omnisphere version 2. SoundLock makes the whole process of custom patch design a lot more fun and a lot more simple. Using SoundLock, you can take certain characteristics of a sound that you've called up and lock them in, and then go freely browse for sounds in other categories and come up with completely new variations on that patch. Let's take a closer look at how it works. I'm going to use this bass part as a starting point for the first example. Now, I like the overall vibe and movement of this sound and how the mod wheel is controlling the wobble speed here. Now let's explore some different variations on this sound by clicking on the sound lock icon and choosing lock all. I'm going to select some sounds from the Spotlight EDM directory and the synth mono category. To make things interesting, I'll shuffle the list of sounds that are in this category. One of the coolest things about working with SoundLock is that all these new variations are completely unique, and nobody else on the planet is using these yet. If I then select Clear All on SoundLock, and then reselect the sound, we can check out what the original patch would have sounded like without SoundLock applied. Wow, as you can hear, that sound is completely different than what we came up with by using SoundLock. For my last example of how to use SoundLock for custom sound design, I'm going to work with some transition effects patches. Now, transition effects sounds in modern electronic dance music are used many times to set up a change in the song. Most commonly build-ups, breakdowns, drops, whatever you want to call them, or sometimes just a change in the arrangement. These sounds usually contain things like pitch risers or falls or filter sweeps and can sometimes contain things like LFO to change the volume or what have you. These types of parameters or changes in a sound can take quite some time to set up. So if you don't like the overall tone of the sound, it could take quite some time to get a different tone with those movements. By using SoundLock, we can take a patch that has the movement and the motion that we like and then just lock those in and go browse for sounds that give us a better timbre for the song that we're working on. Let's have a look at how that'll work. I have this patch here that I've chosen as a starting point for this transition effect in my song. While this patch has some characteristics that I like, the speed is a bit fast for what I need to use it for. I'll select a different clock speed in the main page, and then if I want to browse for some new sounds, I'll choose Lock All in SoundLock. Well, that sounds much better. So now let's look for some variations in a completely different category, like pads and strings. And I'll play this sound as it was originally to see how much different it is from what we just came up with. Well, as you can hear, completely different sound. Those were just a couple of examples of how using SoundLock for custom sound design makes the whole process much more fun and a whole lot easier. Use it on your next project and see what kind of sounds you can come up with as well. And I'll see you soon with some more creative tips.